Hi, everybody. My name is Wilton Reisenhoover, and I'm the creator of Fintel. As you know, we have a lot of short interest data on the site. And I wanted to walk you through some of the data that I'm seeing these days, because there's some interesting things going on, especially around support.com. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here uh, and kind of walk you through some of the stuff that I'm, that I'm looking at here. What I've got right now, actually, let's go over here to the, to, to back up here to the leaderboard. Uh, I'm going to go to the short squeeze US leaderboard here. And what I'm showing you right now, and a lot of you have probably already seen this before, but this is the, the leaderboard of the most likely short candidates that we see. And, and the way we get this is we, we look at a lot of the data that we have seen that we, we believe tends to precede short squeezes. And some of that information, all this information comes from other sources. Uh, you know, we look at short interest over float. We look at the borrow fee rates. And we also look at the price and volume momentum. That's what these two are. And what I'm seeing and what you can see here is that the short interest is an incredible 73% of the total float, uh, which is something that is really quite, quite elevated. And in addition to that, you're also seeing the borrow fee rate of 163%. This is the rate, this is the fee, the interest rate that borrowers, also known as short sellers, must pay in order to be able to borrow shares in order to short it. So both of these two numbers are extremely elevated, um, which is why you know, support.com is the top of the list. So looking at this also, we can, we can look at the volume and the price momentum. I'm gonna jump over here to the stock chart and what you're seeing here is a six month chart. And you can see that it had a big pop a couple of weeks ago. I think everybody knows about this. But since then, the share price has dropped quite a bit. And it tends to be, it's, it looks like it's tending down. Now, this needs to turn around in order to, be, to have a short squeeze. And the reason is because a, probably a lot of these short sellers came in in this area here, expecting the price to go down. And so as long as the price continues to go down, they're going to be okay, and they're not going to have a lot of pressure to cover their uh, their shares. But if the price turns around and goes back up, then they're going to see some pressure on them. You're going to you might see some margin calls, and they might have to do some buying to cover those shares. Now let's take a look at what the actual detail of this looks like. So again, the the the, um, the, the Fintel short squeeze score is 98 out of 98 out of 100. It's one out of you know it's the number one out of the 4,600 companies that we're tracking right now. Um, the short shares availability, this, this is not the total number of shares available in the entire market. This is basically the number of shares that are available to be shorted or to be borrowed at a leading prime brokerage, Interactive Brokers. They publish this information and we publish it as well. <clears throat> now, a couple hours ago, there were zero shares available. And this is, again, this is not the entire market. This is just what's available at a leading prime brokerage. Um, since then, there's, you know, the number of shares has gone up to 100,000 or so, but it's still pretty low, to be honest. But what's really significant here is the borrow fee rate. Although the, the shares availability is not a real good indicator of the total, I guess, hard to borrowness of, of the company, the borrow fee rate, I think, is a very, very strong indicator of hard to borrowness because these are market rates. And just like kind of mortgage rates or, or, or housing loan type rates, you're going to find that most lenders are going to be kind of in line with each other. I, I believe this is my belief. I don't believe that interactive brokers or any any you know prime brokerage is going to have fee rates that are very far away from others. Okay, so you don't have to take a very big sample in order to find something that's that seems pretty reasonable, in my opinion. But this borrow fee rate is 163 percent, and that is extraordinary, extraordinarily high which means that it is very expensive for companies to be able to borrow shares of this, of this stock in order to be able to short it. Okay, so let's keep going down here. The short sale volume, you know, this is an interesting metric. A lot of people look at this, but one of the things that people don't realize is that this, this short sale volume also includes market maker sales. So, you know, we look at the FINRA short volume. This is, this is dark pool data here. If I buy, a share long, okay, and that purchase is is fulfilled by a market maker who doesn't have the shares on hand, but they fulfill it, and then they go out and they they get those shares later on in order to, to be able to cover. That's considered a short sale, 
So my long purchase is actually recorded as a short sale because the market maker fulfilled my order without the shares in hand and then, which is a borrowing, and then went out and tried to find those shares later on. So that's, you know, it's important for you to understand that. A lot of people ask us, why is the volume, the short sale volume so high, but the actual short interest didn't move? It's because, you know, a lot of these purchases, a lot of these short sales are not actually short sales at all. They're, they're, just, um, they're just market maker sales that are fulfilling long purchases by somebody else. So there's not really a strong correlation between short sales and actual short interest that's reported on a, on a twice monthly basis. <clears throat> now, fails to deliver is really interesting here because this is the situation where a, a market maker, using the example I just talked to you about, goes out and tries to fulfill an order. So if I go out and try to purchase a share and a market maker fulfills that order for me, <clears throat> then they have to be able to uh, uh, deliver those shares three days later. And if those shares are, no, are not delivered, then that's considered a failure to deliver. So a lot of people think of this as, as you know, a sign of naked shorting, and that, that might be the case, but it could also just be the case that the markets are inefficient and there's a lot of demand and you know, things are broken, okay? Um, and so in any case, what it's telling you is that there's a lot of demand here and there's a lot of breaking and there's a lot of stuff going on that, that is interesting. And you know, even though this data go, only goes back to uh, up to two weeks ago, and that's because of the SEC doesn't publish this on a daily basis. They actually publish this um, every two weeks or so. We can actually tell that this is still happening because the company is still on the threshold list. Now the threshold list, I've already pulled it up for you here. Uh, if I click on this and I go down here to see September 13th, I can see that support.com is still on the threshold list. That basically means that the failure to deliver is still happening and it has been happening for the last five days. So pretty significant. It means that there's stuff going on that makes this company very squeezable, I guess you could say. Um, we'll go down a little bit further here. And I wanted to mention one final thing. The short interest is currently 6.8 million shares, but the float is currently 9.29 million shares. And you subtract that out, what you're finding is that there's only 2.47 million shares um, in the market that are not shorted, okay? That's a really low number, okay? Uh, and so of all the companies that are out there, all the securities that are out there, I bet you there's very few of them that only have 2.47 million um, non-shorted shares that are floating, okay? And that's why I think this is a, uh, an interesting candidate for a short squeeze. So that's it. Just wanted to share some things that, I, that I've been looking at. I um, hope this was helpful. And we'll do it again sometime in a couple of days or in a week. Thanks so much.